Okay. And Calder. If you can give us a log. Be a second, I gotta find the start date. Not on your screen? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Captain's log, start date 5539 2.7. Seven we after our All right, quick uh, detour to to deal with some pirates. We begin begin charting our court. The first part of our course for the Silk Road. Go to A. And begin to make it more more settled and log. All right. Um, as as mentioned, and the after a brief if distraction by some um, pirates and some um, local Xanarite Federation citizens who were fighting over er, an ancient planetary probe that has as appeared adrift if in space over the past hundred thousand years. Airs. The Spallen is now out charting a course through the Silk Road. Oh, that will it'll take him to. That'll, I'll take him to. This star, our system to investigate it, and then and they're gonna loop around to rendezvous uh, with, with a convoy and take him down on the uh, Silk Road and also. Oh, take time to investigate the rumored Kraken and that uh, appears to be by the Delta Provona system. The USS Ecliptic is is joining forces with a joint federation and Gorn scientific survey of a neutron star. Meanwhile, uh, another our 10th fleet vessel, the USS Gan Ganymede, Luna class will be a coming in soon to the uh, Silk Road to uh, assist in a, a particular Gorn Arm Federation archaeological site. The Rampart art is taking course ours to uh, check up on an old religious is cult out from a hundred years ago uh, that it has been out of contact with the uh, Federation in the uh, time. They were said to have have some unique religious views, but at their exact at code note and how it survived to the modern day is unknown. And. We cut to the uh, bridge. We are are about uh probably only a shift or two away from um dealing with the pirates and and processing missing them. Are we anticipating conflict? There's uh, always going to be conflict. Not at this <laughs> this point. Uh, uh, the Klingon pirates that uh, at you defeated have fully surrendered, and and their their ships, ifs are are going to be salvaged by automatic 
it drones and taken to Starbase 21. But I believe, Eve Captain, you wanted it to investigate the nearby star system. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Very well. Um, let's see if we can shave some time off there. Do you want to roll here or? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I just. Okay. What would you gonna like? Gonna be control con difficulty two assisted by computers con. Control con difficulty two. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy a dice with some. All right. And if someone could grab the ship roll. Excellent. Um, with if one momentum am generated, and you can and get the uh, spawn in there within sixteen hours. In the uh, meanwhile, uh, was there uh, anything you would like to do in the meantime? Yeah, I'll just uh, kind of give sick bay a once over, make sure it's ready to go for any kind of issues. Okay. Um uh, sure my staff is good to go. Yeah. Did any uh, training that anybody needs, you know, stuff like that. It's medical people, we gotta keep up on your CPR, keep up on your uh, ACLS stuff. Blood on pathogen. Uh, yeah, go ahead and give me a, a presence medicine difficulty too, to look over your staff and make sure that uh, everything's, things up to spec. Presence medicine. Both the, you say? Uh, difficulty two. Complication one. Mm-hmm. And, uh, let's see, would counseling give me a, uh, focus, emergency medicine, surgery, focus on it? Um, I'll accept counseling at, at complication. Okay. 
it's not quite what and it's designed for but it works so i'd put a complication too how does that affect the role you do a complication higher complication um at a higher comp at a, a from 20 to 19 point okay one at a time uh all right and you broke up admiral rob if you're going to be the one uh, I only caught half of what he said. I'll yell to Arthur, let him explain it. Okay. Uh, yeah, normally the uh, crit failure range where er, er, you er, develop a complication and is on a 20 when you increase the uh, uh, cr the complication range, it goes, it goes from 20 and then and 2019, 20, 19, 20, 20 18. So it makes it more likely that uh, you will roll a complication. I see. Well, in that case, I, I, and not using the focus, how does that affect? Them? Um, if you don't use the uh, a focus, is you're not going to get the uh, critical success if you roll underneath your or uh, department range. So you wouldn't get a a two. Yeah, you uh, wouldn't get two successes as if you roll underneath. If, if you roll five or under on your your d20 okay sorry sorry to digress into that i was just curious trying to weigh which is the better decision there um sounds like way it kind of i guess it evens out to some extent mm -hmm. um i'll go ahead and spend a and I'm... okay or no you know what i'm gonna spend a threat oh all right Roll that one. Bravo. <clears throat> nice. That should generate a extra momentum, right? That generates an extra momentum, and you, your our staff is is all all caught up on their air training. You actually did a a brief each CPR. Our class for or all your our medical staff. Cool. Managed to knock that out of the way while you had some um, time between missions. Um, Talk Captain. Some security people, some first aid. <laughs> oh, if you want to teach the security people, oh, first air say we we could do that as well. Would that give them a bonus of anything if they had to work with something? Um, yeah, uh, if you, you host a class for the security e e people, basically e the security, yeah, any security NPC e you bring on would have an advantage of, of doing first aid. Hmm. So Let me think oh, about that a little bit. Yeah, uh, yeah basically. I want to expand on that a little bit, but that yeah. might be future, future something there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, since they had a refresher crash, they're like, oh, yeah. So when this happens, I'm, I'm supposed to, you know, check the airway, check the uh, 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 breathing, and check the uh, chest. Yeah. Airway yeah, just, breathing I'm, circulation. Let me let me ponder that a little bit. I, I, I'd like to kind of maybe try to do something where I basically I create an advantage that our, our people of some kind there for our people when it comes to combat triaging or something so let me let me mull that around a little bit i'll, I'll be interested in that but yes okay all right thanks. um Bye. captain in 16 hours on on the clock between here and there what would you like to do i don't know any phone calls you want to make? <laughs> Training you want to catch up on? Um, maybe send my report of Leonis to to command. Okay. Uh, about how it went well. Yes, it went very well. And it was totally uneventful. Nothing, nothing interesting happened. Totally no time travel. 
What are you talking about? I have no memory of this. Don't make me meta game. Shh. It's fine. Everything's okay. There is no war in Bossing Say. <laughs> I'm actually running an avatar game right now. Uh, so Captain's busy doing that. Um, um, Maldon. Oh, you have the uh, ship set. Basically, have our nose nose pointed at this next star, our system. But there is a, a massive project, act of almost a month long um, voyage that the captain wants to you know, take you on. But you think you could sh you, you might be able to shave some corners off that if you want. Or if there's any other projects or training you want to do in the meantime. Well, if the captain needs help with something, might as well uh, see where I can help him out with that. Reason not to. Mm, no, nah, I'll just do a trade roll. I just realized something. Yes? Uh, with the whole time thing, Maldon would never have never have the experience uh, of the rocket boots. Oh, he's right. I mean, the rocket boots are still available. Yes, but I yeah, don't but know. Yeah, but he doesn't know about them. Yeah. Uh. Right, Disney. Hey, that means the chance that we use them, you'll get the first time experience again. I don't, don't know if I'll be able to. I'll try my hardest, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Yeah. yeah, but my question is, is he insured to use those? I mean, I'm sure the insurance on that's pretty high. Uh, don't, don't, don't worry. It'll come up again. All right, to plot this is this massive if month long on course and and to hit all your your waypoints. Reason con difficulty four assisted by computers con. Reason con uh, four. Ouch. Um, but take this a will assist. Yep, and and this will set you up for or this entire course, or and if you hit this, this will help for the next games coming up. Okay, I'll go ahead and uh, buy two dice. One with threat. I and will then... give you a assist with a direct. That gives I will me accept additional that. dice, right? No, that, that just means I will a one okay, dice. Gotcha. Yep. So and... one threat at two momentum or two yes. dice. Excellent. Correct. Huh. Take that. And the ship helps with computers con and the captains and um assisting in, in a commanding manner. See, and you were worried about this. What's that? To... Assisting in a commanding manner. I, I I was trying to think of a diplomatic way of saying micromanage, because it, no, it's a it's a good thing. Uh, assisting helps. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on a difficulty four. So, with that, um, you managed to shave down down uh, nearly a uh, month long on journey, including stops and surveys in the system. You managed to whittle that at down to twenty one days for two momentum and we can and shave that down to 18 days and mechanically that would mean and there is less opportunity for things to go sideways and he's far out because you're just doing things quickly I think that that'll work
like you you i think spend, the spending two momentum is a good idea yeah Oh, wait, you also get a free bonus momentum because of your species Fingers thing. and thumbs, correct. Fingers and thumbs. All right. So the, the... so the bonus will cost only one momentum out of the pool. Excellent. So with your... Or, yeah, uh, with, with your or con skills and computers and crunching the numbers and everything, you manage to... To make a flight path that is nearly 33% more more efficient, and you you're able to you even get it into the system and and, and scan all the uh, planets in the region and and bounce out out uh, very quickly. What do you think? And last but not at least. Yes, Lieutenant L. Um, you're still about 16 hours out before, or you can get any, a detailed scans of the system. Um, long range scans might not reveal anything interesting. Ing, but you could if you want to. Uh. Or there's always the holodeck. I would probably want it. See if there's a way to improve the sensors in general. Um, in what manner would you like to improve the sensors? Tough one. Um, you know, let's just create an advantage for later. Okay, so. Oh, create an advantage it's on the sensor arrays. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah. Uh, and I, I wouldn't mind doing it with a check instead of momentum. Yeah, I, I, yeah, we could do it with a, a check. Uh, just say like a minus one to difficulty. Um, so, it would just be. Uh, it would just be a, a, a floating advantage. So okay. oh, you can use that floating. in any manner or you would like. Okay. Including additional questions. Okay. Yeah, so just an upgrade to the sensors. Yep, yeah, so you can do a little tinkering. Control science, difficulty two, assisted by sensor science. Computers focus out. Uh, yes. I, I yeah, you can and be doing this through like a computer diagnostic. Oh. You know, let me get. Let me do spend one momentum for an extra die. One momentum for one die. And ship sensor science. Excellent. Wouldn't, them, wouldn't this be a diff one because of our advanced sensors? Not if you're tuning the sensors, I think. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I, yeah, you can't use the advantage of the advanced sensors to tune the sensors to make it more advanced. That just creates a weird feedback loop, I would think. <laughs> but I will oh, I'll say that, yes, you do generate a, one momentum off that, and you've managed to you know, create an algorithm and that can and help parse the... Uh, sensor data uh, to even finer detail. That'll work. 
excellent. Um. Yep, that's probably the end of Theta S shift. So going into Gamma S shift, everyone goes goes to bed and 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 takes a, an eight hour rest before they come into the system. And at this point, I need everyone to make a fitness science roll. Uh, yeah, fitness science difficulty three. Everyone on the ship. GM's trying to do something to us here. I would really? like to, I would like to spend a momentum for a third dice. Alright. Captain spending one momentum. And go ahead and roll. See if you generate any, any extra. I will also take one momentum while there's some in the pot. Insight science or fitness science? Fitness science. Oh wait, uh Uh, go ahead and just re-roll that with fitness science. Also, throw out, out any, yeah, throw out any suggestions for, or a focuses. Athletics. Mm. I have no focuses that might help me. All right. Uh, not quite Athletics. I'm about it's biology, fitness, xenobiology, you know what's going on with me. Uh, I will accept xenobiology. Okay. And then, um, is this something that we would be able to use a value on? You, um, you could. Basically, e something, something's gonna uh, uh, happen during the night while. Oh, oh, you are, are resting that it you will either understand or you will not understand. So would my improvisation under pressure work? This would definitely cover. Yeah, I'll accept that. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna burn that value then. Well, use the value, I guess. Use uh, the value. I'm just gonna do the simple roll. Oh, I actually won't succeed. Ah, I was tempted to use determination, but didn't need to. Okay, so let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Got a two. Uh, you got a. You got a three because the value you gives you oh, an gives automatic two, success. Yeah. Because. Yeah. As using a termination and gives you a d20 and you just set it on the table as a natural one. Oh, okay. So a critical hit. So during the uh, night, um, Dr. Er, Bog and, and L separately in your own quarters, you both have, have a dream that involves elves an ice cave and earthquakes and <laughs> something a, a, a parallel flashback you, you you have have dreams involving ice caves is and earthquakes and l you you have a an idea of a giant pyramid dr bog you remember er working in in some sort of a village that has a triage actually uh you kind of have a double nightmare and you remember er, doing triage in the village and you also have a flashback to your wife and daughter hmm. and that day. Um, Maldon and, oh, and Calder, what you dream about, Um, that's up to you. Or if you just had a... a 
uh, dreamless sleep. Um, because of your dream in bog, I'm going to say a, that uh, you have have an increased complication to presence in scrolls. Oh, it's for the time being until you can talk to someone about that. Okay. Yep. So all presence roll have, have increased complication. But otherwise, you wake up the next morning and you're all refreshed and you're ready for the new day. And you're more within range of the new star system. Um, yeah, you're about 30 minutes ants out. Um, where would everyone be? I'll be on my way to the bridge after getting my coffee and and I'll avoid avoiding it stay in a doctor you know attic to, to say his drink is better Goodness, that did not work. All right, so oh, you are are getting your Ractagino because that's the superior air morning drink. No, I'm getting coffee. You're getting coffee. Uh, yeah. All right, a uh, little secret stuff happening on the side. Um, L, w would you like to do anything before our stepping onto the bridge? Uh, no. All right, Maldon. Uh, no. And Doctor Bog, whisper me. Uh, would you be on the bridge, Edge, or would you be in the sick bay at this time? I would probably sick bay. Um, kind of just. Yeah, I'd be keeping myself a little bit today after that. Okay, understandable. Now let's on to, to the star system. Ah, uh, let's open up with a uh, reason science. Sensor scan. Reason science difficulty three. There is a complication in on the uh, table due to uh, the nature of what you're scanning. Uh. Sensor operation. Yep. And minus one difficulty. 
Yep, minus one difficulty from your advanced sensors, so diff two. Since this is technically the second time working with the sensors, would testing a theory apply? Uh, yes. Sweet. Generated Add one momentum off that. And I will send in a report to your Discord. I need to add a zero to that. That needs another zero. Uh, Nothing. Is that something about adding another zero? All right. Uh, that's what you got from Unarmoring Sands. Okay. Captain, that planet's old. Uh, that's there's a, a lot of... There's that's a that's lot the star's of, age, but yeah. Uh, sorry, the, the star is pretty old. And it's got as, about as many artificial objects as it is years old. Uh, what do you mean by artificial? Uh, that was the word I was given, but hold on. Would you like to ask, ask a science question? Right now, it's more just like uh, cinema's terms. Yeah. Okay. Um, possibly man-made. And and, uh, and that, not? yeah, uh, that that doesn't count as your. Or um, science question. That was just clarification. So you still have that. Yeah. Are they like uh, satellite station? Can we we like magnetize? Well, magnify one of the well the view screen at, at one of these. These are this, artificial entities. Okay. For 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 the science question, are some of these objects in space? They are all in space. They are all in space. Okay. Um. They then L will report that that there are more than seven million artificial objects in space. Okay. Um. Ma 
magnify by the... And there are two. Okay, once again, magnify the, the B screen to, to enhance the image of the sun. L scratching his head, thinking the captain wants me to uh, magnify on this. You know, magnify the, the view screen. Y okay. Yeah, you can, you can throw it up on the uh, uh, view screen. All right. He chooses one and magnifies on one on the first object he can find. It is impossible to pick out a specific object, but you can zoom in on the sun and on the view screen. And you see basically a, a, a K class a, a star, but it is nearly blotted out by a swarm of, of objects. It, it, it looks like a it, it looks like a street lamp and just being swarmed by moths and mosquitoes it was in the middle of the night. All right, you can see there's light behind it, but there's a bunch of objects in in the way. And it's um, just a massive pattern of it. Uh, does this count as a new scene? Uh, this does count as a new scene. Okay, I'm going to, to use my uh, direct to order L to to scan those uh, those artificial entities. Would you like to move into the system, or would you like to scan outside of the system? I think think uh, a thing here is the safest option. Okay. Uh, reason science. Um, I'm just scan, and the specific objects can be difficulty four. Complication still there. And sensor science. And you're using your direct. Yep, and our senses make that difficulty three. Yep. All right. Um, testing out there gets me an extra dice. Absolutely. Uh, sensor operations gives me a focus. Yep. Oh. And. For the hell of it, let's use the metal. Uh, Star cross. So anything ten or under is a, a critical hit. Correct. That one. Okay. You may fire when ready. Draw my ducks are in order here. Uh. All right. One, two, three, four. So we get one. Oh. And I was still on fitness, but it, it, my control's higher, so it, does, it it wouldn't have been different. Yeah, I don't think your your our okay. reason science is seventeen. Yeah, it wouldn't have changed. Um, so you generate one momentum, but Captain it messes messes up and is is starting to it tell you to do contradictory things, unless you want to quash that. Uh, I well, think we should quash it. Uh, it's up to you, Al. Uh, it was his direct, so I'll get, I'll let him decide. All right, quashing with two can momentum. I, can I ban my my medal of honor? <laughs> uh, yeah, we could. Okay. So give us back the two momentum. <laughs> Yes, dear. All right. Um, you manage to zoom the sensors in, and you you, you find a patch of sky right, with just a couple of, of these these objects. Um, they are scale twelve 
of space stations, but they don't have that much of a power power source. If anything, they have limited fusion fusion power, and these objects are are three kilometers long um, and half a kilometer or wide cylinders. And all of them are pressurized with atmospheres. Did we uncover some sort of uh, ancient civilization here? I don't know. Well, you do get that free question. You do have that free question, and if you don't don't have anything specific, I might I'd be able to give you a hint. Uh, well, without using the question, did the scans reveal a life form? Um, at this range, yes, lots of life forms. Lots of life forms. Oh, joy. Um, do they have any sort of active weapon defense platforms that could be dangerous to the Savalin if we got closer? You are unsure, or you're unsure, or at this range, but uh, you believe that there is is no no active. You believe that there's there's no active weapon in system. There there doesn't seem to be a, any high powered weapons in the encampments in on the uh, exterior. So nothing obvious. And it's like like turrets or phaser strips. Anybody else have a question? I'm good. Oh, are we? All right. Um, um, I guess it's time to take us, take us in. No, 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 no. that's the wrong music. We need our mystery music. Instead of 7 million Doomsday Machine, you're going to give us 7 million Borg chips. Ugh. No, the GMs would kill me if I, I, I said, oh, by the way, we found a star system with a 7 million Doomsday Machines orbiting. Good luck. Yeah, so you're going to do 7 million... Borg ships instead. All right. Yeah, but they, hey, look at it this way. They may be baby doomsday machines. They just haven't grown up yet, so they might be easy to kill. <laughs> uh, I don't, using Borg and easy to kill in the same kind of Well, I thing mean, the doomsday small. machine from the, the original series. Uh, Maybe they're baby ones. As long as they're not Borg doomsday machines, we might find a way out of this. No, that's now there's no. a combat Elko that sucks. Uh, yeah, the fleet already deal with that. It's called the Archon Arc. You should ask about it someday. Anyways, um, you get to the edge of the system and and the space is densely packed. Um, it's going to be a chore to maneuver or er, er, through here, but it's possible. Warp speed is out of the question because there's no clear line of sight. Um, as you you, you approach, you do see you haven't seen a, hell, don't drive. <laughs> uh, faster than light, no left or right. As you are are approaching the system, you see a on your sensors a flash of energy go from this thing go from this one to this one just like a, a laser beam of light 
I go from one end to another end. A tight. It, it's a tight beam. It doesn't appear to be plasma or phaser. And as Basically, you look out, uh, you yeah. see. As you look out, you see that at, at every so often, like every 15 seconds or so, you see a, a, a beam of light connect two of them um, briefly. Hey. So we're there. Does it look like there's going to be any hostile act? They have not responded to you. I think I'll, I'll, I'll be asking the question is is it is, is, while well, looking at the beams happening like like what is it doing uh yeah. can i do a in, science insight uh you can do a science insight or you can do an active scan but i'll give you insight yeah let's do a science insight let's let's mix it I up want a bit to say that it has something to do with them communicating with each other mm -hmm. Is the music too loud? I think the music's too loud. Bump that down a bit. I didn't think I so. Okay. I haven't heard it anyway, so I keep All right. it down. Uh, Insight Science Difficulty 2. To uh, just ponder what it is. Let me buy an extra guy. Safe. Uh, with momentum or threat? Yeah. So. All right. Glad I did. Um. Yeah. Your intuition is is correct. Um. It it. Uh, it's possibly not like direct data communication, but it is a transmission in of some sort. It, it might be like typing communications and but it doesn't quite look right um it could also also it could be a, some sort of of communication or transfer system he'll explain that cap Also, uh, just, you know, just, just wondering, what's the alert status? Probably still, we haven't really had a black alert. We don't have a spoiler drive. <laughs> black alert, get out of here. If, if you gave us a spore drive, I'm sure that would, uh, upset the rest of the DMs. That's for you. Uh, I don't know, it. Yeah, I, I think that would accept other people for other reasons. So, maybe we can negotiate you giving us a cloaking device? Uh, I've never done that. <laughs> you have to talk to Romulus about that one. Uh, yeah. Uh, would you have shields up at this time? Well, of course we will. When the GM asks if you got your shields up, the answer is always yes. <laughs> All hands, yellow alert. Yes. All right. Just thought we should clarify that before I I I'm, do something rude. <laughs> no, and, and with that, the, our shields would be at full strength, not no strength. Uh, yeah, that's based off your sheet. So if you, you change that on your sheet, it'll change on the. Uh, see if we could, could get a uh, a uh, better detailed scan of of these probes. Uh, eeny, meeny, mighty, wo. Oh, oh, Lieutenant L, which one would you like to pick? Hold on, it's not giving us the third spot here. Let me click it. A 
Okay, say that again. Um, um, which which one of these is uh stations would you like to uh, check first? Well, first of all, we're would be more worried if we did an act scan that it probably set something off on one of them. I'd probably want to just start with some more passage. Very cautious not to set anything off. Um, we could do passive scans, and it will it'll increase the uh, difficulty, but uh, there will be no risk risk of them sensing that you are scanning them. Okay. It, it would not be considered a hostile action. Okay, let's do that. All right. And are you just doing a, a wide sweep of the area, or are you focusing in on one? Um, just, it, well, it, it's a passive scan, so it, it, there would be no focus. Okay, good point. I mean, the only focus involved would be the, the sensor operations, but not focusing on any one thing. All right, uh, testing a theory, sensor operations, and how much... And that is is diff two with your sensors. Uh, yeah, this should work. And uh, that's. Uh, you do gain two momentum off that. Okay, so we can that wash the um. Uh, you quash the uh, uh, complication. Um, doing passive scans. Um, um, you see that uh, lining the uh, halls of the ship are solar radiators, and then and sticking out of the uh, polar ends ends are are radiator air towers of sort that seem to be glowing faintly in in the uh, thermal uh, range. And all of them seem to be rotating. Most of them seem to be rotating at the same clip. Um, one of them nearby uh, seems to be rotating nearly twice as fast, and two of them are rotating in at maybe like a third of the speed. And they're rotating uh, along the uh, lo uh, around the long axis. I would definitely uh, be calling up at all the science officers to get them to either to the science lab or science station to get them observing all this. Well, I get the whole department on full science watch right now. Oh yeah, that that's you know what? Uh, present science difficulty E two. Present science difficult. Yep, to uh, call all your our science department and and get them um, on board with this, and this will create an advantage. It's that your science lab is up and ready, and they can and provide additional support. All right, uh, spend one momentum for an extra die, and can I make use of the the ship's computers to make this happen? Um. Not really a ship's computer. This is you, you know, just standing there telling your team aim to get to work. Yeah. Uh, thought I'd try anyways. Okay. Uh, the extra die, no focus. And you were worried. Yep. Um, um, Patterson and and nods from his station and and goes out in the science lab and 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 starts ga gathering the troops together and data starting to get compiled and everything captain your orders l advises uh don't provoke them we should observe before we uh know what we're what we got here 
Oh. I wouldn't mind getting uh, bought in that either. Oh, um, one thing I will I'll add is that there doesn't appear you know, to be any, you, you don't see any, any sort of fence or drives or rocket nozzles. There, there are some maneuvering thrusters is clustered around the uh, hull, but those seem to be more station keeping. It doesn't appear that these have any motive of trans transportation. Uh, on the on the scan so far, have I been able to identify any other means of communication besides the beams that we can see? There are some faint ain't ain't radio signals, unless they are bouncing about the place. But you would have to get it it deeper into the system, and you'd have to open up your communication ins rays to catch a transmission and begin translation. Oh, so is this still really like a long range? And we're not really in the system yet. Um, you're like just at the edge of the system. Oh. Uh, but it's radio, so it, oh, it it it, it detune. Uh, deactuates? Is that the word? Okay, it, it's I, it spreads uh, out by this range. Can I try to match, match their radio signal if I can't lock on to a radio signal and that and try to uh, run comms off of that? Uh. Yeah, it's not really much. Yeah, it's a difficulty one. Assist control engineering, assist by communication engineering. Yeah, your 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 sensors are are designed to you know pierce subspace. Radio is child's play. It's it's almost like Morse code. Like they might be using Morse code. Who knows? <laughs> you have no idea. There's so many channels oh, overlapping on top of each other. It's it's really difficult to isolate one. Uh, you know what? I am going to use my determination to reroll. To what Was value? I supposed to run I supposed to roll com uh, communications and engineering for the ship. Um, you you can, but since it's L didn't get any anything, in the assist don't work. Yeah, in uh, order or for an assist, yeah, in order or for assist dice to count, the main roller has to at least get one success. Uh, gotcha. the value throughout the handbook and wrote my own. I'm not sold on it. You got anything else? A theory for every situation. Uh, maybe there's one more. Let me check your sheet. And the uh, well, yeah, it's it, either those two or the first one. The fourth one probably not. Fourth one probably not. I'll take a theory for every situation. Roll those dice, and we got the one giving us two. Yep, and you have two total on difficulty one. Um, um, it appears to be a uh, fast chatter or binary bits. Um, it, whatever language is this is, is you are gonna have to sit down and do an extended task, has to translate it, but. Okay. Uh, yeah, the For main focus one... was here to see if I can lock on to that signal. Yep. For one momentum, I can and give you an insight on this. Or we could do an insight science roll. I got an idea first, and we can come back to that. Okay. Uh, I want to run all this chatter through the translation mate. Um, and see if the matrix start understanding whatever language. 
it is an unknown own language with an unknown own own base ace you could just throw it at the computer but it's probably gonna have to chew ew, on the data for several hours before it comes up with the translation oh, well well that's 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 the point because the translation matrix is supposed to be able to pick up on a language uh and per perfect example was uh when uh uh there was a species that went to D Space Nine, and it took a good like four or five minutes to just really get them talking before the computer could start locking on, and then it just got better from there. Yep. So. Oh, oh yeah, you could just throw the translation, throw the communications at the translation matrix. Yeah. So, so even though we're not communicating with them, we're hearing, we're listening to what they're saying. And try and run that through the matrix just to try to understand what they're saying to each other. Okay. Uh, uh, but it might take a scene or two to, to, to translate that, but that could definitely be running in the background. Would okay. anyone else like to do something? Any suggestions? Anyone else alive? Yes. I'm thinking. You know, All this right. could set up some pretty wild uh, flight courses, the way that they've got him set up here. Like a, like a movable asteroid field. Uh, not that I'm going to be doing anything with that. Just a thought. They are everywhere. Oh, oh yeah, plotting. You, you could just tell at a glance that plotting course through here is going to be interesting and quite fun. Yeah, I think plot of course the planet. <laughs> Why not? Hey, let's. Until someone else gives me something else to do, I could I could start setting in, laying in, of course, for the planet. Not actually taking the ship there. Just saying, okay, well, if I were going to lay a course, what would that look like? Yeah, you can, yeah, you can totally, like, just uh, start crunching the numbers on that. Uh, I mean, from the looks uh, of it, it, where there's going to be a few try squeezes, so... Would it be safe to bring the small in down there? Um, um, the the map is definitely not to uh, uh, scale. Oh, it, oh, you're not gonna be e crunching halls. Oh, uh, in fact, there's hundreds of thousands of kilometers between each one of these these uh objects. It's just that there's so many of them that they blot out the sun. So yeah, you can. Yeah, there's hundreds of. There's. Uh, several hundred seven, to several thousand. Seven there's seven million of them, but it's also spread out over or the a span of of three cubic AUs. So there's plenty of room to maneuver. It's not like you're you're gonna be scraping paint with anyone. Uh, can we get a scan on that planet? You may certainly try. But first, um, uh, Maldon, that'd be Reason Con difficulty three, complication two, to set up a, a course between you and the planet. And this will I'll help you, you on further con rolls. Okay, right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a dice for a momentum. Okay. Ouch. Because I use momentum instead of uh, threat, I don't have my normal three rolls. Uh, maybe the maybe the a computer can can come into the clutch. Termination. Yeah, it seems a waste to use a determination on something that's just gonna 
Wait, it's let's... not. It like this role isn't the clutch role. Like I'm not using this role to make something happen. I'm just theorizing. Yeah, uh, if, if there's no rerolls else on the table, um, um, the air movement it is quite chaotic and and it's gonna take a bit for you to ooh, ooh, plot a course or safely. So nothing exciting is happening at this point. Hey. Uh, can Al get Bog's opinion on, on these things? Um, one thing you have, have, have been missing it, you, you haven't looked into is the, uh, atmospheres and the life forms. Um, and you mentioned, okay, so you mentioned an insight task and an extended task. An extended task has to translate into things. Um, the insight. Yeah, it's insight science difficulty one. Well, that was easy. <laughs> um since you're passively looking at the uh uh atmospheres um you can't see them um, directly but you peer into them and they don't quite all look the same and most of them are oxygen nitrogen m class but there's several of them that are just way uh, bizarre and that's a venusian atmosphere that one almost looks Martian, and that one has hydro hydrofluoric like acid in the atmosphere. It, it, it seems like like there's several different types of environments mixed in, and each individual one un has as different signatures. Uh, how about scanning for life forms? Scanning for life forms. He just loves scanning for life forms. Don't make me sing the song. <laughs> uh, no, there is life forms. That there, we know. There's definitely life forms, but a scan at this range will tell you no more. Testing a theory sensor operations. Correct. And bring it down to two because your sensors are amazing. And the sensor science roll. Got it. So that is if two. Yep. So okay. you are full up on momentum. Um, lots, lots of different life forms. Each one of, out of of these, each one of these stations is, is housing thousands to hundreds of thousands of different different life forms. None of them humanoid. Some of them M R. There, there are some large life forms that you can and, and pick out and some of them um, are carbon based some of them not carbon based Dr. Bob chief of security you're, you're calling into the bridge no, uh, I was answering Bog from Discord. 
Yeah. Oh. I, I, it hit me. Hit me at. I had no more to type the question, and I, it hit me. <laughs> okay, so there's all kinds of different life forms: carbon, not carbon. Um, what? All, what all different atmosphere? sizes. Uh, different sizes. Uh, what kind of atmosphere are, do they have? All different sorts. Um, um again, about seventy percent of them are M class S oxygen nitrogen, and thirty percent are random different atmospheres of all different sorts. Oh, so it varies from ship to ship. It varies. It, it varies from station to station, and there's life forms in each and every one of them. Um. Okay. E even the uh, non M class S, S stations, you are detecting in some sort of life form. Yeah, Cap definitely wa might want to get a look at this. Say the captain definitely going to want to get a look at this. Okay. Referring the, the pattern in the life forms where different atmospheres, um, so, uh, good portion of them we could survive in just fine. Few that we can't. Uh, and the life forms vary just as much. All kinds of size, different carbon and not carbon based. Are there any life forms that we recognize? Good question. Use that for the free question. I'll take that as a, a, a free question. Um, I'm going, I, I'm going to say at uh, just from the uh, wide swath that you've, you've looked at, uh, you, you, you don't see anything in particular. But you do you recognize... Two of the environments and, and click with, with you, Dr. Bog. Okay. One of them um, is... Is a M class gas world you know, that has more more oxygen and and more more humidity, and there are large creatures there er, is in there, and you being a human and kind of recognize this. That is a Cretaceous gas atmosphere from Earth, and those are dinosaurs. And the other one uh, you recognize from your biology a, a textbooks to be a uh, uh, 30 million year old atmosphere from um, the uh, Trill homeworld. And and certain indigenous you know, species from the Trill homeworld that you would have like very lightly studied in xenobiology of like Oh, those are the ancestors of the trills. Hmm. Um, can we do a, a wide scan? Basically, just tell the computer, look for known life forms and just have it start scanning kind of a pattern until it's see if it sees anything. Even if it uh, is this some weird alien menagerie? That's what I'm beginning to wonder. It's almost like it's a zoo or a, like a display of history or something. Uh, yeah, we can get the uh, computers to do that. Uh, uh, Send message author. Thank you. It's a it's a side note. Not, not, not don't need a complete answer. Just you know, curiosity.
All right, um, to set up a scan that, especially since you're narrowing it, it down, difficulty two, we still have the complication two, uh, sensor science. So we can rule out distant origin theory. Yeah, this isn't distant, distant in origin and quite yet. Um, Dr. Boggs, you can help with, uh, reason medicine on this, especially if you're, are going to be getting involved with looking for different life forms. Okay. And your focus in xenobiology will, will apply. Um, I'm going to use technical expertise here. Okay. So I can re-roll. Re -roll. And you got a float. Starship. And don't you also have advantage? Oh, no. no for the... Yeah. Uh, we do you have... have the chief of uh, of medicine. Well, chief medical officer. Uh, I'm not sure that at advantage would it, it apply, but we do have have one float, and we also have the advantage from the science labs. I was looking through this. Uh, okay. But scanning ending the entire swap, everything in within the. Uh, area Dr. Bog uh, starts starts clipping in through this and you're you are basically seeing snapshots of evolutionary area trees at different points you see a, the a Vulcan Vulcan environment from um 75 million years ago you're seeing earth 65 million years ago you're seeing in trill a hundred thousand years ago oh and, and you're recognizing in like the DNA patterns and and the uh, traits of like I I remember this from um, my Xeno evolutionary area classes, and you're seeing in home worlds from all sorts of different in species represented here. None of them oh, yeah. am younger than and thirty thousand years. Can we pick out one like the one that would be? Closest to evolution to us. I Let's mean, the, 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 this uh, around the like looking at the, the this planet and all these biomes. If we do go down there, there as a away party, we're probably we become gonna be part of the exhibit. Well. That or and also will be be bottom of the food chain in some of these biomes. Sorry, when not not touching dinosaur land. Uh, Bog, you had a question. I did. Uh, what was that question again? No, I'm I. I don't. Okay. <laughs> I am I am confused and distracted. Um yeah, you yeah, each one of these is is stations is basically a snapshot of a different uh, a different world in the Alpha Quadrant and at different points in in time. Um some of the worlds you are recognizing and there are some biomes that are it's either a planet that sh or, or a biome you're not familiar with or or just a time period that uh, uh, you can't recognize. But the general trend here is that none of these these are. Yeah, 65 million in years is about out the farthest back it, it reaches. OK. Uh L. Yes. We gotta 
figure out where, like, who would make them like this? Could there by chance be... We'll find a way out of all of these... Uh, so... Which one could be the head one? Like, the main one, like, the nucleus of, of this cluster. Because we need to figure out uh, where the creator uh, of this is, or if they're still alive. Well, the only ones that I know that really dealt with uh, DNA from all sorts of backgrounds would be Iconi. No, like I want to figure out uh, I, 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 I would like you to start doing an active scan um uh, one point of, of clarification I, I messed up on the uh, dates I mean there are dinosaurs on on here so that's why I got stuck on 65 million years but the youngest biome um date you can find is is 195 thousand years years old and that okay. is specifically from um the nearby uh why is my brain farting so much today because it ate beans uh yeah there is is one pod that is that is from the biome um, about uh, 200,000 years ago that is from the Benzite tree. Uh, Captain, want us trying uh, hailing one? Okay, I'll attempt. All right, I'll I'll isolate the one for that possible bends that if start there. All right, um, to open hailing frequencies, that's going to be a uh, control engineering difficulty two. Assisted by communications, ng. Okay, activating leaf. Okay. Could spend a momentum for a third dice. One momentum for one dice. I'm gonna go for the ship. Nice. Oh, that's not fair. There you go. There uh, you go. That is. So. Three momentum generated. Uh, you have to float, and this is to open hailing frequencies. Uh, give me a random advantage. I can give you a floating advantage to, to maintain a communication. Okay. Uh, this is Graham Calder of the USS Zavallin. Well, um, Starfleet. Uh, one of actors is for the uh, call. Um, it starts. It's giving you a bunch 
bunch of, of data, uh, most of it um, quadrocode. So it's like a like a string of four bit it, it code. Um, Ellie, can you decrypt this? Um, I patch it through to Patterson. Patterson was working on the translation. Okay. Um, yep, and in the background, Alan Patterson's going to actively be working on the uh, translation in Matrix. So, um, that's going to be, uh, uh reason plus science, diff four, mag four, um, complication, no. Work track. Reason science to four mag four. Uh, can we use the floating advantage? Uh, yes, I will uh, allow that. Um. Um, it appears to be a large box of of four bit it, it code, uh, mixed in with some um, native ma native language. It's about a hundred words, and then the next block of code. So, oh, it, it appears there's like several, like there's some code and then there's, there's a little blurb and then there's more code and then there's a little blurb. Okay, so we basically have two floating advantages. We have the one you just did, and we have the, the sensor one earlier. The sensor one from earlier to clear up and get all the code. Okay. Um, You could use that to bring down the resistance or the difficulty. Uh, Bring down the difficulty. All right. So diff three and the communication. Patients array, a um, you could do that for the same thing. Either bring down the resistance, the difficulty, or, or, or uh, actually, I, su I suppose you can use use an advantage to get a free reroll. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so do this. Go ahead. This is Patterson doing this. Yep, and the ship can and help computer science. As Patterson is is, you know, in the bowels of the ship, staring at a computer sc screen. Um, I already have Patterson teed up, so I am ready. Okay. So, uh, would sensor uh, applications work? Yes. Okay. Uh, spend a momentum for a third dice. One momentum, third dice. I give an assist. Um, if you give an assist, you, you'll be busy with that for the scene. Okay. 
Okay. Unless I'm gonna go with the ship. Okay. That. We succeed, so that's seven challenge dice. Uh, yep, seven challenge dice from um, Patterson. As you do succeed. Nice. Well, that's a that's at least one breakthrough. Goodness, one <laughs> two. And we have some momentum to spend too. Yep, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, can we spend, uh... Okay, uh, let's do one momentum on this thing and, and one momentum on an extra success for two breakthroughs. All right. Extra work. Yeah. Extra work, yep. Well spent. Um, first breakthrough, ooh... Um, Patterson and looks at the quadra code and and notice as is that it basically breaks down into several uh, letters A T C and G and as soon as he sees that uh, he he perks up doctor uh this is genetic code and he starts forwarding in the uh, quadricode uh, bits to uh, uh, sick bay, and now doctor, if you would uh, like, you can assist on on this task roll as well to decrypt yes. it. Okay, so I roll. Um, next uh, task okay. task roll is reason science. You can roll reason medicine, and this is going to be a difficulty three. With, with Patterson leading, ship assisting, and Dr. Boggs. Okay, so I'm just rolling one dice? Yep. Wouldn't the down to dip one, though, because the breakthroughs? Oh, yeah, dip one. I, I goofed out on that. Uh, spending no dice. Well, spending no that or Okay. Uh, that should generate moment there. Uh, yep. Three extra momentum. So you have to float, and that is definitely success. So roll the challenge dice. Challenge dice? Uh, Sorry, no, I will, uh, yeah. Uh, let's do uh, one momentum one. for piercing. Piercing's all we need. Let's do it. Except work track. We've already done. Uh, yeah, that That's, fills the... That fills the work track. Two. Technically, that's two more breaks. Speed on magnitude as well. 
one yeah. mag did five and one mag the work track. Uh yeah, that essentially breaks the work track back and and you completed this as task. Um essentially these this is a, a digital oh um, um, it gives a, a block of, of DNA. They're very, it's, it's very broadband and DNA almost representing an entire species, not, not one individual. And then it gives a little, a little blurb or this animal was found and on, on this planet and, and, and lived, lived so many thousand years ago. And then, and it, it gives a little, a little blurb or a little detail. Yeah, you found the uh, zoo signs that advertise what the creatures are, and it also and gives you it also gives you a, a frequency for our transporters. The current the current one that you. Who isolated appears to be uh, Arocrocan or, or Aurelian. Oh. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, um, Um, Maldone. Yes. Um, give me a reason and con difficulty E1. Reason con diff one. I believe in you. I believe in me too. I believe in the. Uh, bravo, uh, you. Bravo. I believe in the you that believes in you. I'm the me that believes in me, though. All right. Um. Um. As they're are doing this, you are just keeping an eye on on passive sensors, you know, navigational sensors, seeing if anything is is out and about, and your sensor ping. Something is moving towards you. Uh oh. A uh, scale three E ship, definitely warp capable. Captain, we have a ship. Headed right for us. Uh, what's the classification? Um, Maldon, you are not familiar with this class of ship. I am in no way, shape, or form familiar with this classification, Captain. Uh, ha L, uh. Actually, uh, Captain, and it, you might have, have a chance at this. Um, Reason Command Difficulty 1. No, Insight. Insight command. Insight command difficulty one. Okay, I uh, take a forget. Gladly. That's the Navy term for what what you just described. Yep, constant uh, bearing, decreasing range. Uh, would leadership work? Um, something Starfleet protocols or a Starfleet. Protocol or the diplomacy? Start for the protocol would would apply. Okay. Did we roll that zero? Fishing, fishing, fishing. <coughs> Excellent. Uh, you gain two momentum off that. Um, very recently since you've you've came in into U command and you were given an a uh, debriefing on a bunch of things that command officers should know one of them was the voyager file that contained everything that at the voyager found in the delta quadrant this ship uh, perched something of interest and you quickly he, he pulled up up that act it's not quite classified but it's not widely distributed it, it file and that is a hydrogen ship Eek. 
and you recognize it and you know everything there is to know about it as that is very carefully detailed uh, by the Voyager air crew and has recently been distributed to the fleet as, at large. They get way out here. Yeah, they're a long way from the Delta Quadrant. You do have two new momentum for an advantage on on that. Or two two floating. I wanna use those two to figure out how, how we got here. Well, I mean that could be just spend one just to get the question and still we can still use two for an advance. Okay, uh, I'll use one for a question. Uh, what is the question? How did it get here? <laughs> it is known that the Herogen and and used a a network of subspace tunnels. Um, it could be possible that at uh, they were thrown out and just uh, spun out across the galaxy and ended up here. Could have been an errant wormhole. Or maybe they just slipped in around the Romulans and Klingons and 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 started curving their way back to the core at this point. Most likely the ans answer is is random wormhole. Any ideas on where I spend our last playing advantage? If that isn't why, because I think we 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 all know why, Dave. Because they want to hunt some dinosaurs. <laughs> really? Why would Herojin want to hunt dinosaurs? That seems silly. I mean, <laughs> haven't you seen all the crazy things that they've done? To is to satisfy their their fulfillment of hunting stuff. I am I'm am, I'm very very much aware. Um also oh Maldon oh you do recognize that yes they are indeed eat running hot. They are at red alert. Well the, Captain the, okay. they are at red alert. There is one other possibility here. Um uh, they were also known to have their hunting different environment very much what we see here on all these ships that's a possibility an observation an observation um Calder you do have one float Red alert. Yes, inhale them. Uh, I'll let you you do that for, or uh, one momentum to quickly e fire that off. As to do, to do. And. God, why do we have to combat when, when a combat character is a gun? All hands red alert. All hands red alert. Also, another thing on the list of uh, a bad idea to start this but that achieve security. Ah, uh, just trust me on this. Um, you do open hailing ink frequencies. This is Commander Dicka Calder of uh, the USS Svalent from the the Federation state your business. Um, um, just as you, you finish is, is closing your, 
just as you finish finish your or statements, they uh, a power up of weapons and take a shot at you. And that is where we're in tonight's episode. <laughs> With the uh, uh, ship uh, under air, air fire from a, a strange ancient race from across the uh, galaxy. Hidden among um, a Dyson Zoo. And with that, we will. Uh, s and with that, we'll uh, see how they uh, get out of this situation next week. Wow.